Well, it's Tuesday. I mean, Wednesday. About uh, nine. No, it's 10 o'clock. You can see we had a gully washer last night. It's sprinkling now. I guess that puts the cohorts on the uh, detecting today. It, suppose, suppose it quit though. If it quits, I might go to the land of Nala, depending on how it looks. The tires low in the afternoon now, like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. The gig master had a, I think he found a silver ring down there yesterday. In a fair amount of I'm kind of testing out this camera again too. I had to do two videos yesterday. It had two black screens in it. GoPro wanted me to send one of the videos to them, so I sent them the one with the two black screens and took those out on that dirt dirt hunt you saw yesterday. They said that they may send me a new camera. But they wanted to see what it looked like so they could determine whatever they needed to determine. I'm going to the post office to drop off a payment to my uncle. I have to pay my uncle every month for 500 years. But I've been doing that for 500 years. So it's nothing new. I get back to you. Well, I just got a call from the skin doctor about that bob say they did on my head. It was negative. That's a good kind of call to get. Negative. So sort of like going to the land of Nada. I'm still testing this camera. I get back to you. I'm pulling into the post office drop-off box now. Well, you probably can't see it, but it's still raining. Pretty heavy. It's two. It's two seventeen. Nasty day. I just got some relatively bad news. The uh, state has now decided to close. Well, I think the Virginia Beach has decided to close all the parks and everything. So where I was yesterday, that's closed now. I guess they're going to close all the playgrounds and everything. So I guess it's uh, the button patch for the land of Nada, or the bay. We'll see how it goes. I read it wrong. It says Virginia Beach parks remain open. Playgrounds and amenities to close. So the playground areas and all that will be closed. I don't hunt those anywhere. But the parks will be open. Okay, that's better. Well, it's Thursday, about 10.30. Overcast a little bit, but supposed to clear off and be, well, it's in the mid-50s right now. It's supposed to be in the high 50s or early, late 60s, early, what do you call it, uh, 60s by midday. Chris and I headed to Hilltop just for a ride. We got to drop some knives off at the butcher shop. And we're meeting a guy from North Carolina at the butcher shop with 11 shoons that I've got to sharpen and take back to him in about two hours. And I'm supposed to have a fellow drop off a few knives this morning. So I guess they'll be here when I get back in my milk box over there. So it was a few knives today. And, and the land of Nada this afternoon. The tide's low at four. I guess we'll leave... Uh, I don't say we, I guess I'm going by myself, but we'll be down there this afternoon sometime to finish this video off. I'll get back to you. Well, that's the first drop off. A few knives for today. This is my second best customer. Every time they get just the slightest dull, he brings them in. I picked this up from another guy. And then... A whole block of nice shuns, shuns. Three, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw eleven. One of them's a one of them's a honer. We'll get them out of there. Take a look at them. That's a nice set of knives right there. Ten shun knives and one pair of shun scissors. Thanks for a nice, nice knife day. And then maybe some tickets from the land of Nala. Look at, look at this. We got leftovers from Tuesday night. The, the Italian place. A piece of bread. One of Chris's mushrooms. And my chicken barm. I'm headed to drop the knives off. I got my Bermudas on. Getting ready for the beach. Stand by. Well, I just got a text from the guy with the uh, shun knives. The guy from Moyak. He just called me. He says, uh, I got a friend just came up here with his knives. He wants you to get them to sharpen them. So I got more knives to pick up from a buddy of his. I don't know if he's a local guy or somebody who came up from North Carolina like he did. It's going to be a knife, a good knife day, it looks like. Maybe there'd be some treasure at Nada. But exercise, anyway. That's all we've been getting. Well, I got them. I don't know what's in there. I think she said there was four knives and a pair of scissors. We'll take a look at them when we get home. Well, as you can see, it's more shines. Four shines. And a pair of shine scissors. It's a shoon kind of day. This one here is in bad shape. I don't know if you can see it. I've got some chips along the blade. Okay. This one's got a tip knocked off of it. I'll be at the Mumbles man's house in about 10 minutes. He's riding with me. Our buddy Richard just called me. He's already got there. He's at 23rd Street. So we'll have a, a little report when we get down there. I imagine as pretty as he is, there'll be plenty of looters out today. Maybe we'll run into some of them. Dang. Day double dang. I just went by the wild wild on the corner by Dennis' house. 179. And I'm over three quarters, so I don't need any, but. I like 179 a lot. Now, I know you guys in Texas got some good cheap gas down there. But if it's 179 here, you probably in the 140s or 50s. Standing by. Well, we had to put it on a 24th Street. No, 25th Street. No parking where we normally park. This is the Air Museum like thing they call it. I saw Eddie. I saw his van. Eddie the firefighter. He's here. I told you Richard's here. I don't know. And as a mumbles man, he's with me. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Vietnam stuff. There's the Norwegian lady and the Norwegian flag. Y'all haven't seen her. Some of y'all new people haven't seen her before. I don't know if you can read it or not, but there it is. That new titanium scoop. What's going on? <laughs> you digging for a chinaman down there? Digging a hole. <laughs> How you like that scoop? I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't take nothing for the scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's light, ain't it? Good it's God. Drag, right? Yeah, it's light. You can throw sand like it ain't nothing. I know it. 
Who's that? Who's that? Richard? I don't know who it is. It's Richard, I think. Yeah, got the white headphones. That's who it is. I just, I've been in about 35, 40 minutes. Where'd y'all park at? Right here. Couldn't find it on 24. We saw your car, but yeah. everything filled up. We moved over one block. I ain't found another bottle caps. I've been up here high for a while. Yeah. I was gonna bring you scoop for goddamn thing. <laughs> oh, damn that's God. okay. Richard's down again. Getting... I don't think that's Richard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. He didn't come up there with me. Hey, he didn't see, but I think that's him. He's got them new white headphones from uh, from uh, that guy in California. Eisenhower? Yeah, Eisenhower. Nice count, Richard. What are you doing out here? I don't know, I can't seem to find this. Whatever it is. Hey, Eddie. Who's that over there, you know? Huh? Who is that? I don't know who that is. I figured it'd be playing looters out here today. One other guy up on the beach there. Yeah? That cut over there too. Where are we going? I'm going that way for about a block where that cut is right there. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Signal from down there to here. Oof. Nana nada. And I took forever for a freaking chain. Oh, it was, chain? <laughs> Might have come off a slave ship. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you should have got one target from here to there. Huh? For one 30, target. From 36th Street down. From where? 36th Street to here, nothing. But that. That's 10 blocks, nothing. Nana nada. Yep, Nana nada. Well, we'll get some exercise anyway. That's right. All right, let's go. I'll see you when I come back. All right. We might as well go that way then. We're going to turn around and go to the pier now. Okay. That was the iron. That's the iron you got too. Well, that's the first target. It's a scratchy 13. More iron than anything else. Oh, whoa, a washer. Round with a hole in it. Jimmy says he's just dug a quarter. Still in the hole. Still in the hole. Scoop there. That's a nice scoop. 90 degree scoop.
I see the mumbles man's on a ticket over there. Working up for oh, 10 cent man you're a hot goose they got 35 <laughs> cent now <laughs> well we're saying goodbye to the norwegian lady she's beat us down we're going to gray matter city look around there for a while can't be no worse than it here to land an otter Gray Matter City. Richard's behind me. Richard joined us. He followed us up here. Mr. Denny's behind me. We'll see what this goes on with this hot goose. Beach looks good, though. This is a jumpy 13, 12, 17, might be a bottle cap, but it's pretty solid. Uh-oh, I hit it now. It's a big piece of iron, I think. Fine ticket, that is. Let's, let's bang on it a little bit. See what it is. Sounded okay. But as you can see, it ain't much to it. Let's give her a whack. Looks like a big nut. Yep, it's a nut with an all three rod on it. Take it up in the trash can, throw it away. How are you making out? Nothing. I got a full tab and a big piece of iron. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything here. We'll go to the trash cans and we'll turn around. A lot of people on the beach today. Go see how Richard was making out, but I got 11 right here. 11. Kind of shaky now. Sounds better. I don't see anything, but it's still beeping. And I got it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> it's a little teeny piece of wire. No, it's a fishing swivel is what it is. A snap off a fishing swivel.
This old uh, Equinox is a sensitive damn thing, ain't it? Now we we'll see how Richard's making out. Unless we get interrupted again. What a blank. Uh oh, hold it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, it's exercise. Let's see what it is. Fifteen, fifteen out. Aha! I don't see nothing gold. But I see some tiny. Versus in the deep. Mumbles man. Mumbles man's digging something. The mumbles man's digging up here. Must be a Chinaman. I got a three. A three. I don't think I still hear it, but it's not very good sound. Let's see what you get. I get a 2-3 and a 17. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I think it's iron. How are you making that? I got a full tab and a big piece of iron. What kind of numbers are you getting there? All kinds mixed up. This is iron, I'm sure. It's just choppy as hell. It, there's it, nothing there. That's iron, is what it is. There's Deep iron. I'm in beach two. Minus two. Well, I got a text message. I mean, a voice message on my phone. I might have some more knives. Guys left me a message, so I'm gonna drop some knives off at your house. I guess Chris will be home. Or he might leave a milk box, I don't know. We'll have to see. What other kind of knives we're gonna to get today? Well, my fourth knife customer that I told you call me, he didn't have any kitchen knives. He had a big old machete a zombie killer and a big moss oak hunting type knife but a zombie killer I haven't seen a zombie killer since the gun show before last look at that a zombie killer well, maybe testing you to see if he likes it because he's got kitchen knives too and a big old machete that's duller than Grant Isaacs okay what do you think of that, Boo Boo? Knives. You want some chicken? You want some chicken? I know what you want. We want something to eat. Denny's is a little better. I'll put it at the end. But here's the best of it. Sausages, sweet Italian. What do you call those pasta doodads? Or, orchiato. 
How do you spell it? Gorkiato? No, Ork. Orkiato. Mm. And here's the best of the best to end the night. Times two. Well, there's a mumbles man's nut. He got a quarter, two pennies, a nail, and something else. Let's go see what uh, FedEx Jimmy found now. Has FedEx Jimmy. He got the best of it. Big shackle, some iron nut. You saw the sleeve things. Oh, just just expression. Eddie said he was kicked back in the recliner like me. There I am. <laughs> the best of it, except for what you saw earlier. Sam.